Government of Canada. Your Excellency, you have the floor. Good morning, bonjour, assalamu alaikum. Uh, and let me first uh, offer Canada's thanks to our Qatari hosts uh, for your grace, gracious hospitality. I'm proud to be here uh, representing Canada in these important negotiations toward a new, more effective international climate change agreement. As an Arctic nation, uh, we profoundly understand the impact of climate change. But we're not alone. Canada recognizes the impacts that climate change is having and will continue to have on countries around the world. Le gouvernement du Canada s'est engagé à collaborer avec ses partenaires afin de trouver des solutions mondiales aux problèmes internationaux des changements climatiques. En fait, le Canada agit sur tous les fronts, national, continental et international, afin d'atténuer les effets des changements climatiques. Domestically, we are implementing a sector-by-sector -sector regulatory approach to reducing greenhouse gas emissions to meet our United Nations commitments under the Copenhagen Accord, a 17 percent reduction in emissions from 2005 levels by 2020. Through this approach, we have already taken action on two of Canada's largest sources of emissions, transportation and electricity. The final regulations for coal-fired electricity plants uh, that we announced this past September make Canada the first country in the world to effectively ban the construction of traditional coal plants. Our efforts will achieve real environmental and health benefits for all Canadians. Canada's transportation regulations similarly will generate tremendous benefits for the environment, for consumers uh, and for the economy. We are also moving forward to develop regulations for the remaining major sources of emissions in our country, including oil and gas. Canada is now halfway to achieving our national effort to meet our Copenhagen target. The combined efforts to date of federal, provincial and territorial governments, of consumers and of businesses will generate half the greenhouse gas reduction required to meet Canada's uh, greenhouse gas targets by 2020. Canada's environmental success flows from real and from pragmatic action. We have a practical, effective approach that takes into account the environmental and economic realities that we face. This will ensure that our efforts are balanced and truly sustainable for Canadians, and it will continue to produce results, results of which we are proud. Sur la scène internationale, le Canada reconnaît l'importance de financer la lutte contre les changements climatiques afin d'étendre les objectifs mondiaux en matière d'atténuation et d'adaptation. We are doing our part. We are also supporting international action that will strengthen the capacity of countries that are vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. And to achieve this, climate financing is playing an important role in meeting global mitigation and adaptation goals. Canada committed $1.2 billion in fast start financing, Canada's largest ever contribution to support international efforts to address climate change, and we're focused on ensuring that these funds are put to work effectively in developing countries. Canada's support primarily focuses on three broad areas, adaptation by the poorest and most vulnerable countries, clean energy, and forests and agriculture. To maximize the impact of our contribution, Canada has structured our Fast Start financing investments in a way that encourages private investment and innovation. This will be a critical component of longer-term climate change financing. The success we are seeing with our Canadian investments will yield key lessons for the global community. Canada is proud to have helped launch a new multinational initiative, the Climate and Clean Air Coalition to Reduce Short-Lived Climate Pollutants. This initiative has the potential to dramatically assist short-term climate goals as well as to improve the health of millions of citizens around the world. Canada is active as well in other initiatives, including the Global Alliance for Agricultural Research, the Global Methane Initiative, 
and the Global Alliance for Clean Cookstoves. We are also working under the Arctic Council to address both the mitigation of and the adaptation to climate change and look forward to continuing that work as Canada assumes the chair of the Arctic Council in 2013. Au nom du gouvernement du Canada, je tiens à réitérer notre soutien à l'élaboration de nouveaux traités internationaux uniques qui réunira tous les grands émetteurs qui sera juste et efficace sur le plan de l'environnement et qui sera mis en œuvre d'ici 2020. We stand behind an approach that truly reflects current global realities and one that effectively captures the full range of countries' capabilities and responsibilities now and into the future. Thank you. Merci. Shokran. I thank His Excellency for his statement. It now gives me great pleasure to welcome to the conference